Hello, I'm Jeff Byers. I'm going to take you through um, the high poly process of high poly modeling a dice and then beginning normals and ambient occlusion in X normal. So I'm going to go ahead and model a high poly and a low poly. So let's go ahead and go to create, go to polygon primitives, turn off interactive creation, go into cube. We're going to set it up at width 2, height 2, depth 2. We're going to do 8 divisions all the way down and set up to Y, click on Create, set to 5 key and the F key. We're going to go ahead and create a new layer, double click on the layer, and rename it High Poly. Okay, save that, close out the V, and make it invisible. This thing we're going to do is create Polygon primitives, and we're going to go to cube once again. This time we're going to have uh, one, one, and one, a Y direction. And we're going to right click over this to the edges, select the edges, and let's go into edit mesh and bevel. And we're going to do uh, 0.15 segments of two, bevel. And that's a little bit too uh, wide, so let's go ahead and do that again. So let's go to add a mesh and bevel 0.12. Uh, Click bevel. There we go. Yeah, let's take a look at that. That looks pretty good. What we want to do now is we want to go ahead and go to edge, double click on the edges. We're going to soften these up a little bit. Just rotate and double click and hold down the shift key as you're double clicking on the inside edges, just like what I'm doing here. Let's go to the bottom, get those. Make sure I got them all in the middle and let's go to uh, normals, soften edge. Alright, looks pretty good. So there's our low poly dice. Okay. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and put that in a layer. Double click on the layer and rename it low poly. And there we go. Alright, now we've got the high poly and the low poly. Let's go ahead and move the low poly out of the way just for a second here. Let's open up the high poly. Let's hit the three key. The check out. Let's see if it's fairly close together. Yep, this is a little softer edges, but that's okay. Hit the one key again, and uh, let's bring the low poly back over. So let's start. Just click on the translate x to zero. All right, let's turn off the low poly. Just work on the high poly right now. And let's go to, now we got everything set up. One last thing I want to do. I'm going to go to Window, Rendering Editor, Hypershade. And I'm going to double click on the Lambert one. Minimize that. And I want to turn it, this to white. Okay. I'm also going to turn on Wireframe on Shaded so I can see it a little bit better. Okay, we'll come back to the next video and we'll continue uh, to high poly model this.